Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and I'm back with another tutorial for the new Boston. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking um, briefly but um, importantly at SQL injection within this application. There will be another video on SQL injection um, that you can go and look at, but in this example, we're logging a user in but we're not protecting um, our query. Now, our query looks like this. Um, and I've briefly spoken about the security um, for this uh, query. Now, what's happening is is that we're posting, we're allowing data to be freely posted into this form, and then what we're doing is we are um, putting it into a query, which will actually allow anyone to um, pr perform an SQL injection. I'm not going to go into this too much, however what could happen is a user could say specify this value for username. Um, they could do a um, single quotation mark and then they could say or and then they could do two, two uh, single quotation marks and then they could do an equals and a single quotation mark. Now what I'm highlighting in blue here is possible to be entered um, into the username um, or password field. So if the user was to enter this, the query would um, read true to some extent. I mean, we've encrypted our password, so you know we can look at this either way, but this means that an SQL query can be performed. And like I said, if you uh, are not familiar with SQL uh, injection, sorry, not query, the query has been performed, but SQL injection be, can be performed. If you're not uh, familiar with this, then um, either read up about it or watch my other tutorial. So how, what can we do to prevent, somewhat prevent um, SQL injection? Well, what we first of all need to do is think about a function that will protect against and this function is called mysql real escape string now what this does is it will add slashes um, and escape characters rather uh, hence the name escape string that um, look like look like um, characters that might be used in an sql injection attack so first of all i'm going to end our query here and just concatenate on and then concatenate on the rest of the query. So I've just basically ended the string, concatenated on username, and concatenated on a start of the string. So this will work, and so will our password hash. Let's just end that and start that there. So you should be familiar with concatenation. Now what I want to do is in, in case username and password hash with this function. So I'm going to say mysql underscore real underscore escape underscore string and I'm going to do the same with password even though we're using the password as a password hash uh, I'm still going to do it so mysql real escape string now bear in mind that this function can only be used when we've opened a valid MySQL connection. So you couldn't use it in everyday applications. Uh, for example, just normal form validation where you're not connecting to a database and not performing a query. You need to connect to a database beforehand. So this function has been particularly designed for queries themselves. So now we've um, somewhat protected against our, our uh, query, let's go back and test if our login still works. So I'm going to log in as Alex and um, my password is pass123. Let's click login and you can see that you're logged in. So we can log ourselves out and via, and via Billy account we can do the same thing. So pass123, log in and you're logged in. Okay, so that's a brief um, note on um, how we're going to protect against our SQL injection in our query um, but like I said do research into this because there are other ways to secure uh, a lot better. 